Wow, can you believe it? It is almost Palm Sunday, which means that it is almost Easter. And I feel like these last uh, several weeks that we've been spending in 1 Corinthians 13 have flown by. Last Sunday, Pastor Katie did a phenomenal job giving us a summary and overview of where we have been through this sermon series. And it has been a journey. We have learned about God's love for us. We have learned about how we should show this love to the world and what all that means in its various dimensions. I'm excited that this Sunday we're gonna be looking at verse 13, which says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. As I talk about this passage, I'm also going to be looking at the Palm Sunday scripture for the day, which is Mark 11 verses 1 through 11. If you've ever spent some time in Mark 11 looking around this passage, you'll see that a significant percentage of these verses is Jesus telling the disciples what they need to do to secure his transportation into Jerusalem. Where they need to go, um, what they need to look for, what they need to say if somebody questions them. And, you know, as I thought about that, one of the things that popped out to me is why? Why so much time spent on instructions? Why does Jesus give such detailed instructions and why does it matter that we know these instructions and i think this fits perfectly into our theme of love and where we're going in verse 13 with uh, the greatest thing being love and it's this so often in life what it means to love it means simply to follow the instructions to do the simple things that god requires of us and to follow through on those. Now, are those always easy? No. Um, are they uncomfortable sometimes? Yes. But really what it boils down to is following the instructions. So this Sunday, I'm excited to join you in reading scripture, Mark 11, 1 through 11, and 1 Corinthians 13, 13. I'm excited to join you in worshiping God, and I'm excited in preparing for Easter Sunday, April 4th, and I hope to see you then. God bless you and have a wonderful day.